In this lesson, we're going to use the Gauss-Jordan elimination to solve a system of equations with three variables. So here's the problem. x plus y minus z is equal to 7. And then we'll have x minus y plus 2z. That's equal to 3. And then 2x plus y plus z is equal to 9. Now the first thing we need to do is convert this to an augmented matrix. So we need to write the coefficients. So it's going to be 1, 1, negative 1. And then to separate the left side from the right side, we're going to use a vertical bar. Now let's put 7 on the right side. And then it's going to be 1, negative 1, 2, 3, and then 2, 1, 1, 9. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that these three numbers and these three are zeros. And then these three numbers, which form the main diagonal, are ones only. And in that form, it's going to be in reduced row echelon form. And whatever numbers we see here will be the values of x, y, and z. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract row 1 and row 2. And I'm going to apply that operation to row 2. Because if I do that, I can convert this number into a 0. So row 1 is going to be the same. And row 3 will not change either. So let's perform this elementary row operation, r1 minus r2. So for column 1, it's 1 minus 1, which is 0. For column 2, it's 1 minus negative 1, which is the same as 1 plus 1, and so that's 2. For column 3, it's negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. And for column 4, it's going to be 7 minus 3, which is 4. And so that's what we now have. Now, what I'm going to do is I need to convert this number into a 0. So I'm going to take negative 2 times r1, that's going to be negative 2, and then add that to r3. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 2, so that's going to be 0. And then for these two, I'm going to have negative 2 times 1, plus 1, and that's going to be negative 1. And then it's going to be negative 2 times negative 1, which is 2, plus 1, and that's 3. And then it's going to be negative 2 times 7, which is negative 14, plus 9. That's going to be negative 5. Everything else is going to stay the same. Now let's get rid of this. So what do you think we need to do next? Now the next thing I need to do is turn this into a 0. So I need to change row 3. So the operation is going to be r2 plus 2 times r3. So the first two rows will be the same. Now I'm going to perform this operation step by step, so you can easily follow it. So it's r2 plus 2r3. So for the first column, r2 is 0 and r3 is 0. So this is not going to change. For the second column, r2 is 2, r3 is negative 1. So 2 plus negative 2 is 0. Now, for the third column, r2 is negative 3, and r3 is 3. So it's negative 3 plus 6, and that's going to be 3. And then for the fourth column, r2 is 4, and r3 is negative 5. 
So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, and 4 plus negative 10 is negative 6. Now, to convert this to reduced row echelon, or row, I said it wrong, reduced row echelon form, we need to make these numbers zeros. So the first number I'm going to make zero next is this one. So to do that, I need to apply an operation on row one. So let's take three times the value of row one. So this is going to be negative three and subtract it by row two, making this positive three. So when you add them, that's going to be zero. So rows two and three will be the same. So let's write it out. So for the first column, R1 is 1, R2 is 0. So 3 minus 0 is 3. For the second column, we have these two. So R1 is 1, R2 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. For the third column, R1 is going to be negative 1, R2 is negative 3. So this is negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. And for the fourth column, it's going to be 3 times 7 minus 4. So that's 21 minus 4, which is 17. Now, I need to make this a 0. And this step won't be that bad, because I just need to add rows 2 and 3. And if I do that and apply it to row 2, it should work. So we're going to do R2 plus R3. So row 1 will not change. And row 3 will not change. We're applying the operation only to row 2. So we're going to do R2 plus R3. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. And then negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And then 4 plus 6 is 10. So right now, we're on track to get the right answer. Actually, I made a mistake. This was negative 6, and I didn't copy it correctly. So it's supposed to be 4 plus negative 6, which is negative 2. A simple mistake like that can be costly. Now, what do you think we need to do next? The next thing we need to do is convert this into a 0. So to do that, we need to apply an operation to row 1. So I'm going to take 2 times the value of row 1, making this a 2, and I'm going to subtract it by R2. So 2 minus 2 will be 0. So it's going to be 0, 2, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, 3, and this is supposed to be negative 6, as we had it here. So 2 times 3 is 6, minus 0 is 6. And then 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2, that's 0. 2 times 0 is 0, minus 0 is 0. And then 2 times 17 is 34, minus negative 2, so that's 34 plus 2, which is positive 36. Now, to put it in reduced row echelon form, I need to make these three numbers a 1. And that's not going to be that bad. So the first row, I'm going to multiply it by 1 over 6. And for the second row, I'm going to multiply it by 1 half. And for the third row, by 1 third. So then I'm going to get this. This is going to be 1, 0, 0, because 6 divided by 6 is 1. And 1 6 of 36, or 36 divided by 6, is 6. Half of 2 is 1. Half of negative 2 is negative 1. And 1 third of 3 is 1. 1 third of negative 6 is negative 2. So now, 
keep in mind this is x, y, and z. So if we convert it back into equations, what this means is that 1x is equal to 6. So therefore, x is equal to 6. 1y is equal to negative 1. So y equals negative 1. And this tells us that z is negative 2. So now we have the solution. We can say it's 6 comma negative 1 comma negative 2. And that's the answer.